So welcome everybody. Thank you for jumping on. Um, <laughs> just like myself, you know, I know we're, we're all very busy um, and I totally appreciate you guys taking the time to, you know, want to invest in your business and get as much training as possible. So I hope you find this well. And um, tonight we're going to talk about getting back to basics. So I know, you know, we have tons of people coming into the business um, now, especially last uh, week we had launch party week. So we have a not, lot of new enrollments. So we want to make sure um, as leaders that we are kind of duplicating and teaching them the right way how to do things. And one of the things, you know, I know I've been doing the business, it's almost two years now, and I constantly need a reminder myself. Um, I last week jumped on a three-way call, which I had not done in uh, months, and I forgot how much I loved it I and how good I was at it. You know, I can't do a president's pact for the life of me for anybody else, but get me on a call with somebody and I can close it every time. So it was, it was a lot of fun. You know, I had to jumped off, got on another call, but she was able to take the information and enroll that person right there. And, um, Whitney's going to go over the three-way call and how that works and how effective it, it can be. But right now I'm going to kind of go over, um, how to enroll somebody. And, you know, I know a lot of us who have been doing, how many of you have been doing the business for, you know, longer than like three to six months? Okay, um, keep your hand up. If um, anybody like a year, more, okay, almost two years. Okay, so you kind of, you know how to do the business, you know what goes into the work. So I know for me personally, you know, it's especially with the whole crystal reset, as executives, we get the opportunity to go executive again. So what does that mean for us? We need to, you know, enroll new people get new blood. Um, I know in my downline, I have people dying off left and right, you know, that are kind of just disappearing. So having to rebuild again, you know, how do we do that? How do we find new people? And for me, you know, it's been, you know, I shared with McCall earlier today, we had a call and getting comfortable with being, you know, uncomfortable doing things that I normally wouldn't do. So, you know, I had a, my son's in the military. He's an army ranger. So I belong to a group of army moms and I hadn't played in the group in months. My son went off to be an army ranger and their sons, you know, went off and did their own thing. But I recently found myself playing back in the group, making reconnections with these people. I've already had three people reach back to me wanting to know what I do. So that's one way. Um, you can also, there's, um, you know, Find an interest. Uh, if you guys have, you know, some of you are mommies, go on your Facebook page on the top and Google, you know, like your local area. So like I live in Redlands, so I would, you know, search Redlands mom groups and see what comes up. Ask to join them. Find people with the same common interests. Like if you do bicycling, you know, bicycle clubs, anything that, you know, you can find. Go to a gym, join, you know, some workout, um, you know, yoga group. Um, that's my next on my list. Uh, I had never done yoga before until last year and loved it. So now I find myself having a little more free time. I'm going to try to do that next. But making new connections. Me, I'm a red. So I liked, you know, I have no problem talking to people and I'm pretty friendly. So I'll be out anywhere and I will walk straight up to a person. And, you know, I was at, the dollar store of all places and the guy, you know, I was buying uh, produce and he's like, eating healthy is expensive. I said, not if you do what I do. And he's like, well, what do you do? I said, I sell um, health and sexy. And cause he was a young kid. He didn't know. And he's like, what? I was like, are you on Facebook? And he's like, yeah. I was like, hand me your phone. So I asked him to be my Facebook friend because at that point I'm not having, you know, he's not friend requesting me and I have to wait for him to respond. I friend requested him right there. And now I don't lose track of who he is. And I go home and I immediately send him a message saying, you know, it was so fun meeting you today. Um, you know, I would love to share with you what I do. Let me add you to my group page. 
So, you know, it could be body by designs. It could be whatever group cleansing coach page you belong to. Ask them to put them in there. Welcome them. Let them see what our community does as a whole and how, you know, we do things and then get them offline. And that's where you start making those connections and going into those three-way calls. Um, another one is, um, another question we get a lot of is how do you turn your consultants into your little worker bees? How do you, how do you turn them? Well, there's no magic solution for that. You really can't. And, you know, you'll go to all these trainings and people will tell you, you know, not all of them are going to be consultants. They're going to be product users and that's okay. Me personally, when I am actually, you know, talking to somebody and I'm on the phone with them and I'm either doing, you know, my call and talking with them, I say, okay, you know, my goal for you is to get you happy and healthy. You're going to feel fabulous in 14 days, guaranteed. But here's the thing, um, you know, if my, my goal is to get you your box paid for. I tell them straight out. There's no reason why you shouldn't have your box paid for. If they have any reservations about doing the business and don't want anything to do with it, they're going to let you know right then and there. Nope, that's not interest. You know, I'm not interested in that. So you know not to pursue that right now. But if there are, they're going to say, oh, well, how do you do that? That's your cue right there. Oh, well, let me show you. And then, you know, you can start showing them, how, helping them make their first post, how to do that, how to share. And that's, you know, and go down that line. But you will know kind of off the bat whether they are ready to commit, whether they might be a business builder. And, you know, some people are going to take, you know, months before they even do the business. I came kicking and screaming. I refused to do the business. I was doing the business before I even knew I was doing the business, but I wasn't doing the business. So everybody's going to go and have a different approach about it. So um, that's what I've got. Now, Whitney, are you, are you on yet, hun? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, I'm great. Here. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much. Um, and sorry, I was a little late on the call. Um, but Kate, okay, so yes, yeah, so we're talking about like just kind of your basics. I love everything. I love how you said Marky at the very beginning is you forgot how powerful three-way calls are because I totally felt the same way. <laughs> um, I forgot how powerful they were too. And I, once I, I realized once every time I'm on a three-way call, I almost every single time will close on a president's pack. If like, whether they sign up right there on the phone or they talk to their husband and then they sign up on the president's pack. Like I can usually always get a president's pack on a three-way call. Um, and the reason for that, like three-way calls are so, so, so powerful. And I think some of us think like, oh, they're such a pain, like trying to get people's um, schedules to match up and getting on a three-way call. But really they are something so powerful in so many different ways. The, the first thing is you normally are doing three-way calls for your new people that are just barely starting. Like, the very first thing I like to do with someone I bring in, whether they are a business builder or a, pro or a product user, no matter what, whenever they start, I always have them do a Facebook post. And I have like Facebook posts of screenshots of different, um, of what previous people have done or what I did when I very first started the system. And I send them to that. I send them those screenshots and I say, okay, let's get your Facebook post going, like make it your own, do whatever you want to do. But let's go ahead and get your Facebook post going. So that way we can either, I'll either say you can get your products for free or that way we can, if they're like wanting to run for crystal manager, like if they're wanting to be a business builder, I'm like that way we can get you to crystal manager. So get them the reason why they're doing this Facebook post. You could even say if maybe they don't even, not even interested in the money, you could say, okay, so that way you can have some accountability. Let's, let's do a post on Facebook that kept me accountable because I post on Facebook that I was actually doing this nutritional cleanse. So you have a reason that they're going to do a Facebook post. And I make sure I, they do that the day they get their box, they start a Facebook post. Um, and then that's what's going to automatically start getting them to people responding on their Facebook posts. What are you doing? What are you doing? And make sh making sure you coach them before that happens. Because for some people, they can get bombarded by like, what are you doing? And they can be overwhelming to people. So um, we have a, actually a little video that we um, like just kind of have explained like, okay, you want to make sure you don't say isogenics whenever you respond to someone 
tell them it's a nutritional cleanse and just focus on getting them on a phone call. Like get them on a phone call with me. And something that I love to kind of give them security about is remember when you did a call with me before, when you, before you started, they'll be like, yeah. And I'll be like, okay, that's exactly what I'm going to do with you. So you don't have to know anything. Like I'll do all the talking. You don't have to feel like you're selling to your friend. You don't have to know anything. I'll do it for you. They're like, oh, okay, I guess I could do that. And so I'm like, okay, perfect. So then that way they already feel comfortable about getting on a three-way call because they know they don't have to know everything about a three-way. Um, but so then that's, that's the first thing that's important is making sure that they get they understand why they're doing a three-way call. So then when we get them on a three-way call, the other thing that's powerful about it is, again, they're not, don't have to feel like they're the one selling to their friend, but they're also hearing you say, like, do a three-way call. So I don't know about you guys, but I mostly say the exact same thing on every single three-way call, unless I'm, like, changing my story so that way it kind of matches the person I'm talking to, right? So um, I always am saying the same thing. So I, after you've heard like five to six three-way calls in like a blitz week or whatever, they've already, they know what you're, they're doing. They're like, okay, I can go and duplicate this with my next people. So that way they feel supported and then they can do three-way calls for their people. So that's why three-way calls are so important. Like it's so great. So that way you can have some duplication down your team and they are getting the correct information. They're, they're learning like how to close on a presence pack because they're hearing you do it on multiple three-way calls. So that way they can feel confident in just saying the same thing you are doing. Um, I recently just did a bunch. I'm going to give a shout out to Mikkel. She's actually on this call. Um, she killed it last week and had a bunch of three-way calls and she just recently started. Um, and it was so cool to do three-way calls because there was a couple things that had come up with one girl she had said, oh my gosh, I love how personal you are with me. Like you really like, like connected with me. I felt like, like she was more almost excited with how much I connected with her that she was ready to sign up. She's like, you weren't like selling to me. She literally said that on the phone, like this girl. And I was like, that's the point is you want to make sure you're connecting with them. So I'm going to kind of go into what you do on a three-way call as the person that's doing the three-way call. So the very first thing you want to do when you get on is make sure the person so make sure, I'm going to say your associate, right, that you're going to do the three-way call for. Make sure they know ahead of time to first call you and to first know that they have to introduce you. So those are two very important things. So that way it's giving you credibility as to why this random person is even talking to you. Otherwise, they're going to be like, why am I talking to this person? Um, I kind of always give them a little like, okay, you can say this about me. So like, you can, if it's weight loss, I say, so you can tell her that I lost 40 pounds. I went from a size 16 to an 8. Um, and then make sure you talk your friend up. So like, so to introduce your friend to me, say, this is my friend, Kelsey, and she's so cute and is so excited to get healthy. Like just compliment your friend. So that way she's introduced to me and I'm introduced to her and then put your phone on mute. Make sure you tell your person you're doing the three way call that their phone is on mute because sometimes sometimes people will chime in and it just breaks up the three-way call. It's awkward. Or sometimes you can hear noise in the back. You just want them to go on mute. Say, I'm going to take over from here and then I'll tell you and you can get back on. So go on mute. Um, after they go after that, then you are going to really connect with that person. So ask them about them. Like, so tell me a little bit about you. Like I've heard from my friend, Mikkel, you're, you're so much fun. I can't wait to hear a little bit more. So what do you do? Like just kind of talk to them for a minute get a little insight. And then um, right then you're going to kind of take mental notes, like if they have kids or like something that you can relate to them about with whatever they say. And then be like, okay, cool. So tell me why, why did you reach out to, to the person? So why did you reach out to the Kel? What, what are you wanting to do? So that way you can kind of get their goal. Are they wanting to lose weight? Are they wanting to gain energy? Are they interested in the wealth creation part of it? So that way they're telling you what their goal is right there. Um, and then from there, you're going to say, okay, is it all right with you if I share my story? So now you know a little bit about them. Now you're able to connect with them with what their goal is. And then now you've asked for permission to share your story. So you're going to share your story. And for some people, they've been, we've always been told to share our 30-second story. Um, but something that we do is we share our dip story. And I don't know if anyone knows what a dip story is. But it's where you're really, so it's like you're talking about where you were and you're dipping down to where your lowest point in your story and then coming back out of your dip. Because if you share your dip story, then they're in turn going to kind of share their dip story with you so you can connect with them even further. So you want to share your dip story and you're going to, so like, for example, if I've got a mom that wants to lose weight or something, I share my dip story of the lowest time I felt before I had lost weight. 
or if someone's sharing, if someone says they want to gain energy, I'm going to share the lowest point. I felt exhausted. So you want to relate your story to whatever their goal is, right? And you're going to share your dip. And it's so much more powerful. It takes a little bit more time, but you are going to get so much more out of it. And the key after you share your dip story is to say, I could, I could talk about my story all day, but I want to hear more of your story and just stop and just let them talk. Like, just let them go. Some people get caught off guard like, oh, uh, I don't have a story. But, I, but then just be like, well, I want to know a little bit more. Just tell me. And so then they'll tell that to you. They're going to every time they'll share with you their dip story. They don't even know they're doing it. And so then you hear a little bit more about them. And they're going to say, well, I just felt horrible this, this. And I, I want to lose this much weight, whatever it is. So right there is where you're going to be the, the problem solver. So whatever their problem is, be like, oh, my gosh, what would it mean to you to have that that 30 pounds off by the time summer came, like, how would you feel? Like, let them talk about what it would feel like to have that solution. Be, like, you're emotionally connecting all of these people to what their goal is, right? Like, you're having them envision what their goal is right now, be living in that goal. Um, and so then um, they'll be like, oh, I feel, feel amazing. Be like, okay, let, let's make this happen. I am so excited for you. And the biggest thing is you, I'm always very assumptive on calls. Like I'm just like, they're already signed up. Like I'm just talking as if they already said yes to the product. So I'm like, okay, I'm so excited. Let's, like, this is going to be amazing. You're going to feel so good. You're going to fit in those jeans. Okay, so this is, so you've got them so hyped up. And then this is what the system is. And I go into explaining like, what the shakes are, that they're just a nutritional shake and they're not a weight loss shake, they're not a protein shake. I talk about um, like shake meal shake, what they'll be doing. I talk about the cleanse and relate it back to their goal. So you obviously kind of go over the products. I don't think I really need to go over that part because like everyone kind of knows what that is. But, um, and then always tie it back to the goal. Be like, okay, I'm so soaked for you. You're going to feel good in the next little while. You're going to fit into those jeans, whatever their goal is. Like where, and then at the end, just saying, okay, where. Oh, okay. Back to the pack. So before that, oh, sorry, hold on. Are you my other? Okay. My phone is going crazy. So, um, so once you've gone through like the product part of it, then you're going to just talk about the packs. Um, the biggest thing when you talk about the packs is I always say, you want to say, um, okay, so there's two packs that people start out on the pack that most people start out on and is the most popular is going to be the president's pack. And um, I always ask them before this, I'm like, how much do you normally spend on food a day? And no doubt, almost every single person is usually 10 to 15 bucks on food. Like, so you've got it, like, that's so easy to relate to. Be like, okay, so you're already spending $15 on food. So the, mo the two most popular packs are the President's Pack, um, and I just say the President's Pack. And then I am always like, and that's the one that um, Mikkel started on, so that way she got started, and she's been able to have all these results as you've seen. And I kind of go through, like, really talk up the President's Pack. You're going to get everything. You're going to have these incredible bars in case you want to grab one on the go. You're going to have these amazing vitamins. Like, really talk about the President's Pack. And then I say, but there's also a system that's just about 10 bucks a day that is kind of like your bare bones. Like, you're basically going to get your shakes, and you're going to get your cleanse. Just the bare bones of the system. And, I, and you're going to end up adding so much more towards the end of the month because you want to try new things that will actually cost you more in the end. So it's best to get the President's Pack. Like really get them emotionally connected to the President's Pack as to why it's the better thing. And um, more than not, you will. And I always say, and that's going to be for your first month. You're starting out with the President's Pack for the first month, and it's going to cut it completely in half because you're going to go to the 30-day system, which is only 10 bucks a day. So you're just starting this out for your very first month to be able to get this president's pack. So you're completely ready to go and get that 30 pounds off, yada, yada. So that's like you want to compare as to why the president's pack or in the 30 day, but really talk up the president's pack is why they should get it and be confident in it. I cannot stress enough. Like before, when I first started, I did not believe in the president's pack. I was like, that is so expensive. <laughs> I did not believe in it because I didn't start on the president's pack. I was like this poor college student and I couldn't afford it. And I, and that came across every time I talked to someone, it, like, even if I said the president's pack's awesome, like they, I, they could tell I didn't believe in it. You need to believe in it. And I totally believe in the president's pack. You really do get so much more value. You, it, it helps set them people set up so many more people, they find favorite products. Like, and so I totally believe the value of it is worth it. And I, it comes across in my voice. So believe in the president's pack and you will have so much many more, so many more results with the president's pack. Um, talk about the president's pack. And then I just go, okay, so what system do you want and where do you want it shipped? Like I just go straight into it. What system do you want and where do you want it shipped? And then 
they'll either give you straight the information and just take it down um, and or if they don't give the information then they say oh I need to talk with my husband um, or whatever reason that they give you some people will give you resistance which is fine they're like okay that's totally fine then what I'm gonna do is I'll we're gonna add you into our product support groups so you can check everything out on Facebook but um, I'm gonna have Mikkel follow up with you well, she'll plan a time to follow up with you in the next couple days and make sure you tell your person beforehand that they follow up with that like set up a time like okay I will call you tomorrow at 3 like and we'll get you set up to go you know what I mean so I'm like we'll have her follow up with you to grab your information to get ordered within the next couple days so that way they are they are thinking like okay I am ordering it in the next couple days and it's already in their head that they're getting it ordered um, and then usually for my first couple three ways I do with the person if they're brand new I stay on the call I say okay I'm gonna let you two ladies chat and I'll go and I actually stay on the call and listen to what they say, like how they kind of close it, you know what I mean, or set up the follow-up, just to make sure that I can coach them if maybe they kind of didn't do the best, because it's their first couple calls, like I sucked my first couple calls, and so, you know what I mean, so it's good, so that way you can kind of tell them, okay, so you want to make sure you do this, or you did an amazing, great job, whatever the reason is you want to, so I kind of do that with my first couple of them until I know that they're going to be able to set up a follow-up easily and quickly. And so that's kind of the basic of a three-way call. And they're so powerful. But yeah, does anyone have questions about three-way calls? No, but I have a comment. That was amazing. I even took stuff away from it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> Are you a yellow? <laughs> Funny. I always thought I was yellow, which I am a lot yellow, but I'm blue with a lot of yellow. So I'm like, I still wear I'm half and half. So, <laughs> All right. All right. yeah. Wait, I have, have any questions? Yeah, I yeah, McCall. Um, first of all, your hair is fantastic. No. and I won't, I won't fault you for wearing that sweatshirt. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh you're adorable. Uh, my question is, how would you recommend? we help our associates get that person onto the three-way call so that they don't feel bombarded? Totally. For sure. I think that's a really good question. So I kind of lead them in, I tag them in this video that um, it basically is telling them exactly what to do. So if you want to make a video or come up with a text, like it basically is the exact of what they're supposed to say to someone when someone comments on their post. So I'm like, okay, you want to follow this exactly. And what it is is, if someone comments on their post, you comment back to them saying, I will PM you. And then you go straight to Facebook Messenger saying, hey, girl, so I'm doing a nutritional cleanse system. I've lost 40 pounds. I feel amazing. Um, how are you? What are your health goals? Just automatically go straight into it because they know they're going to message them, right? They'll be like, oh, well, I, I want to lose five pounds. Whatever the reason is, what is the nutritional cleanse? What's the name of it? Because some people are like, what's the name and how much is it? Like, that's all they care about. <laughs> and so, um, but then I always tell them, I'm like, hey, so you just want to change the subject. Be like, well, it's actually a lot of information to text over Messenger, but I can, I'm happy to call you later today when I'm not, with, not busy with my kids or I'm not at the gym. Whatever your reason is. And I'll ha be happy to call you and then set up a time so that at that point they don't know they're doing a three-way call because sometimes I feel like if people know ahead of time that they're going to be on a three-way they're not going to get on right yep so then when they're on the phone before they merge you the biggest thing they need to know is be like okay I, I always have them say I am brand new to this and I don't know exactly everything that about it but my friend Whitney is free to tell you everything if you're okay with to chat with her real quick and then we'll talk afterwards and then at mostly every single time they're okay with it. And that way they know they're getting on a three-way. They're told that they're going to talk with their friend afterwards. And the reason is because they don't know everything. And even when I do a three-way, I say that. I'm like, well, I don't know everything, but my friend Natalie does. So let me have you talk to her. You know what I mean? <laughs> even though I do three-ways for people, but it kind of makes other people realize as to why someone else is talking. You know what I mean? So does that answer your question? Yes. Yeah. That's, I think that's really great. Okay, cool. <laughs> Does anyone else have questions? It can be about anything, guys. Yeah, totally. No? I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm full of questions. Okay. Well, this is kind of something that's been on my mind, and Mark, he's probably sick of, sick of hearing about it. But um, – Whitney and anybody else that wants to chime in. So I've been doing this business now for like probably two years, almost two years. Well, products are two years, business probably 18 months. And um, 
I, I guess I'm not really at the point anymore where, I mean, where I'm going, you know, it's not really that mysterious anymore. People know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So are you contacting people? This is a change of subject. Are you contacting people from a list? Are you, are you going strictly off of, I mean, cause you are fabulous at posting on Facebook. You're branded yourself very well. Oh, you're so sweet. Um, but are you, are you reaching out to people in a different way? I mean, that's kind of, I'm just trying to figure out how to get new blood into my business. Yeah, for sure. So I kind of do a couple of different things. Cause I've learned from a couple, cause I've had, a, I've wondered about this for a little while of what exactly to do. Um, but like I've pulled from like two top leaders that I really feel like they know what they're doing. And like Laura Steven, she always says that she just, um, she gets most of her people from Facebook cause pe like people coming to her. So she doesn't contact people as much. You know what I mean? She just, her main focus is posting on Facebook and having a really good post. So people are messaging her and I have had the similar, like I usually have about two to three people now finally messaging me saying, I want in on whatever you're doing or what are you doing? And I'm able to talk to them directly after that. But that has taken, I totally, I want to preface that that has taken with being consistent on Facebook for like about a year. So people are maybe not going to be messaging you right now. If you just are first starting, like I want you to just keep, keep going. Cause as long as you are consistent on Facebook and people are watching that, you're still doing this nutritional cleanse, like then that's when they're going to continue to ask you what you're doing. So I make sure I have, I post very intentionally when I post, but also um, Jackson Parr who um, just hit millionaire. He did a video or an interview about how he contacts and his biggest thing is he really connects with people. He wants to gain their trust before mentioning isogenics or like prospecting them in a way. And mm -hmm. I, um, and I found a lot more success with that as well. So I, um, will always pick, like, so I have a, my Facebook friends, I printed off my Facebook friends mm -hmm. and, um, will like choose like five a day and just message them. Oh my gosh, how are you doing? Or I love all your pictures on Facebook. How have you been just kind of to connect with them? Because no matter what, it's going to come up with, what are you doing? Like, and I'll just be, then that's when I throw in, Oh, I'm doing a, like, uh, I work from home or I help people get fit or whatever I can connect to them. Then that's how I bring it up. And yeah. then almost every single time I send them a video, but you want to make sure you're always contacting at least three to five people a day and whether contacting that means just connecting with, then that's, you know what I mean? That's how I feel. But what about you, Marky? What do you do? Um, I love the point where you said about being consistent because that is so true. Um, Matter of fact, I got a random phone call um, this morning, and it was a gal that I've known for years, and I didn't know how to quite approach her, and she wasn't on Facebook anymore, but she does follow me on Instagram, and this phone call was, I'm a photographer as well, so she started out asking me questions about photography, and I was like, okay, that's random, and then she started talking. She goes, well, do you do still do the social media business? I said, well... Yes, I do. She goes, because I don't know what you do now. You keep posting about all this stuff. So what do you do? And I, for a minute there, I was scratching my head like, wait a minute. Did she just like in a roundabout way just ask me what I was doing? And so it came about because she has been following me and because I have been consistent. And so which led into, you know, yes, this is what I've been doing. She came up today and enrolled. I was able to share with her. So it is, you know, these people are going to follow you for a long time and they're going to watch and they will approach you. So my brother's approached her several times. She kind of knew about the product, um, but he didn't present it in a way that, you know, and like it is it's about connecting. So I was able to connect with her and get her the right information and, you know, it was done and done. So, but I think being consistent is key and, you know, I, there's days I know, and you know, McCall, you're, you're busy. You got new baby and everything too, but it's, you know, and we all do get busy with our lives, but I found for me, you know, maybe even planning in advance, I take tons of photos and I'll save them. Cause I have an iPhone. I'll save them in my favorite. So I'm like, Oh, this would be a great photo for, you know, like wellness Wednesday or whatever, because, and then I'll just, I'll have something to fall back on or attach it to like a quote or whatever that's going to be perfect that day. So that's a quick, easy way to, you know, kind of keep your, you know, things kind of fresh and happy. Totally. I love that you said that. Cause I, I call it a selfie bank. Like I literally have a selfie bank of like, <laughs> when I do get ready for the day, I'm like, okay, I'm going to take pictures. Or like, if you take, like take a bunch of pictures of your shake one day when it looks really good and just save them. If you don't, 
I already have a post for that day. So you can use it when you're not, when you're busy and like, crap, I need a post. So. Yeah. And you know what? And I also do too. Like if I'm scrolling through like any of your guys' posts or whatever, I'm like, oh my God, that is such a creative, cute idea. I'll take a screenshot of it and I'll make my own twist to it, but it goes in my favorite f folder too. Totally. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> awesome. Seriously. Awesome. Thank you. Any other questions? We have some shy people online. <laughs> <laughs> and it can be anything always, of course. All right. Okay. I do have a question. Oh. I've been trying to get it unmuted and here I'm pushing my screen and it's like, damn it, this is not a touch screen. <laughs> How, how often very, do you post a day? How often? Hmm. Oh gosh, that depends. Um, I try to do something. Well, I post at least once a day. It just depends on what time of day and what I'm posting. Um, if I'm trying to reach the moms, it's normally around noon because that's when the moms are, you know, putting babies down for a nap or whatever. Um, if I'm trying to make a post that's going to reach, you know, like moms that are working nine to fives, um, I will post probably in the evening when they're done spending time bathing kids right around seven thirty, eight 8 o'clock, because that's when they jump on and look as well. So, um, but I try to post at least once or twice. And if my kids are doing something cute, I'll throw that in there too. So... But that's me, Emily. How about you, Whitney? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I actually was asked to do it. I did a social media training last week for a different team. And so I had to talk about this a lot. I usually try to post twice a day, usually. Um, obviously, there's some days where it's only once that happens. But I try to do twice a day. You want the best times that you'll get the most. I love how you said you reach the moms at noon. That was something totally new to me because I'm not a mom. So <laughs> that's awesome. But um, so the best times to post that I know that you will get the most, um, like you people will notice it the most, is between 7 and 8 in the morning because that's when people, before they go to work, they're looking at their phone. Um, or at between like 8 and 9 o'clock at night because people are looking at their phones again. So like the golden time to post, like a good power post or like an awesome transformation or something, would be Sunday night at like nine because people are like dreading Monday or like they're just like not ready for the work week. They're looking at their phone. So like that's a really good time to post. Um, <clears throat> but I also want to say kind of how you're going back to the um, consistency thing. Like um, if you're new, like if you're new or like you're just starting to really be posting on Facebook, maybe you haven't been posting a lot. Like, don't get discouraged if you don't have, like, a lot of likes or a lot of comments on your pictures or something. Because I know people, some, I got discouraged with that at the very beginning. I was like, oh, my gosh, this is so embarrassing. But, you know what I mean? So, but, like, it's fine. Like, people are watching you. Like, I have people reach out to me who has never once liked the girl's picture, never liked my picture ever, but wanting to know what I'm doing and want to do what I'm doing. But so people are watching you. So that's the point of posting more than anything is just showing others like what you're doing and they're rather they like you like like it or not then you're still posting so to make sure you get a post out so that answer your question <laughs> yes and and you do you do the only like one post isogenics a week or one post isogenics around um, I, so there's the, there's the system of the 10, four, one, mm -hmm. where you post, you want to do 10 just kind of lifestyle posts for product posts and one bold post. I'm pretty close to that, but like, even like lifestyle posts, like for me are almost like a freedom lifestyle, which technically is kind of isogenics. You know what I mean? But you like, so I just try to stick with the 10, four, one, we don't want to have 10 just lifestyle fun posts like happy posts about your life like why your life is so great or just about your kids or whatever it is and then four product posts throughout the week and you want one really big like powerful post like whether it's about the income you're bringing in or maybe a rank advancement on your team or um, a transformation picture you want to have at least one bold post throughout the week okay. what about you marky i don't know if you follow that yeah i'm pretty that's pretty much what i do as well um I don't sit and count them. Yeah, um, I don't either. 
Yeah, but I, um, I do. And I tend to, my, my daughter, my teenage daughter makes fun of me because I hashtag more than she does now. So I could just post a picture of, you know, me having fun with the kids, but I'll put, you know, fun fit moms and I'll hashtag things that kind of tie me to isogenics, but not really. And, you know, especially, you know, on the Instagram world, because then people are going to kind of follow a little bit more. And that's how my one gal found me and was following me there. So, but yeah, I, I think the 10 for one rule is pretty much, um, I do do one powerful post once a week and me too. I, I believe Sunday night seems to be the best night for that. And, um, we do, you know, there's the kind of the daily posting guidelines. So like on Monday, we, we try to stick with motivational Monday or, um, and then like Tuesdays, transformation Tuesday, uh, Wednesdays, wellness Wednesday or why Wednesday. And when you're posting these things, it doesn't have to be, you know, why I love isogenics. It could be, you know, you can put that in your hashtag, but you know, me buying a car for my daughter, that was part of my why. And I hashtag why Wednesday, you know, so that kind of thing. Um, Thursday, you know, we do uh, thankful Thursday, throwback Thursday, whatever. Um, and you know, again, you can kind of tie that into isogenics throwback Thursday could be a picture of you guys at an event like six months ago, you know, love being able to hang out with my friends. So again, it's not in your face isogenics, but you know, it's still kind of isogenics in a roundabout way. Um, Friday is freedom Friday or flex Friday. Saturdays, I really don't post a whole lot because people are, I know me, I'm family and I'm busy and I'm either on soccer fields or, you know, 20 different directions or that's our family day normally. And people mostly aren't on Facebook. They come back on Sundays, Sunday evenings. So that's why that Sunday evening is that great time to do that um, power post. Love it. <laughs> So, all right, anyone else? These are great questions. I love these. I was just going to say, me? can I just add for Mary, a lot of what they're saying and a lot of this advice you can find in your 90-day game plan, like it says a lot of this at the front of the book. Um, and then it also says a lot of this at isogenicsbusiness.com. And if you're wanting to make this, like if you're wanting to grow your business, that's where you need to go. And all of this is there. And it, you know, we're, we're so lucky to have these beautiful ladies really explaining it how they've done it for us. But, you know, if you really want to get thorough and you want to learn and you want to look and you want to find out how to, where to, and everything like that, I think business has all of the above, <clears throat> um, especially about Facebook algorithms. And that was a really good question. And there's a lot more about that on isogenicsbusiness.com. So have a little look in there and you can Google it if you can't find it in isogenics business because it's a bit hard to find things in there. But you can Google it and then type in isogenics next and you'll find something. Cassandra, that is such a good point because I Cassandra. Google everything. Like even for me, like if I can't find it um, in there, I just Google, you know, how to do a three-way call. How to Google is my best friend and <laughs> use it. Awesome tool. All right. Well, I think that's pretty much it. I, you know, thank you so much um, for jumping on tonight, guys. And if you guys have any other questions, please feel free. Um, we'll get this posted on the Max Out Biz so we can share with everybody else. And you guys have a great evening. Thanks. Bye, thank guys. You. Bye.